What is going on, everybody? Let's see if we can whip up something that looks pretty good on our Blood Bowl scatter template here. This is just the normal D8 scatter, ball scatter template from Blood Bowl. And we're going to do a quick dry brush building up metallics from black. We're going to start with pig iron which is P3, it's just kind of a dark silver, any silver will do. Sometimes I use these paints that I just have no intention of buying again. So on a project like this, um, it's a good way to use up some of this paint and eventually it'll be finished and I can throw the bottle away. Nothing against the paint, I just don't need as many silver paints as I currently own. So we're gonna just wipe it off on a piece of cardboard and just start dry brushing. This is a bit of an overbrush in the sense that I did not spend a ton of time scrubbing all the paint off. I'm trying to somewhat base coat this silver. This is just something for simplicity. When the ball scatters in the game, you just place this down, roll the D8, and move the ball to where it bounces. And all we want it to do is be very visible and easy to read because it plays <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't play a major you know part in the game or whatever you don't even need to paint it so what we're going to do is just increase the i guess beauty of the game by painting it maybe it's a little more fun to play with your blood bowl and your templates if they look nice and, you know, maybe if you spend the time to paint it up a little bit, you'll roll better in Blood Bowl. And if you've played Blood Bowl, rolling a little bit better could mean a lot. <laughs> it's a game of the dice gods really messing with you. So, there we go. Just a quick, quick dry brush, overbrush of pig iron silver. And we're going to jump immediately to silver from... Vallejo Game Air. Uh, one of the reasons I'm going to this one is because it's just one of the brightest silvers I have. And once again, I'm going to do somewhat of a overbrush. So I'm wiping it off on the cardboard, but I'm not overly concerned with getting all the paint removed. My system of <laughs> this poster tack is so old and dry I should have really worked on it a little bit and warmed it up so this would stick but anyway this is just fast and simple oh my god it's going to fall off again we'll just hold it okay so cool it's silver let me see if I can do something about my handle here. If you don't mess around with these, I'm just trying to do some, it's you know probably got a layer of dust on it, so it's dry, well, you know, paint particles from the airbrush. It's just not sticky. Hopefully that'll be good enough. If not, we'll just hold it. All right. So there we go. Now we're going to try something. I'm going to go with... Muted Turquoise Liquitex Ink. Not sure if you can see that. This is Liquitex Acrylic Ink Muted Turquoise. I was going to do purple. Maybe I'll do purple. Let's do a vote in the chat. Just kidding. There's no chat. <laughs> Let's go purple. We're going to go purple. I was going to do purple. I'm going to grab blue. I'm just going to play it off like I meant to grab blue, but... We're going to go Muted Violet, Liquitex Ink.
I'm just shaking it up. We're going to put it in our little water bottle topper there. And let's try something. I'm just playing here, but so this is the same brush. I haven't washed it yet. It's going to get a little streaky. I'm going to give it a nice dauber. Mix it on the cardboard here with the silver. Give it somewhat of a metallic kind of silver sheen, I guess. Basically, if you've watched some of the other dry brushing videos, I think it's usually pretty nice to add some colors into your dry brushing just for interest. You know, it just gives it a little bit of something. So when you look at it close, you go, oh, there's a little bit more to it, a little more than meets the eye. So there we go. We turned it almost this muted purplish silver. Let's grab just a paper towel. I'm not washing my brush yet. Scrub this paint off there a bit. Maybe. Beautiful. Okay. Now this is still wet, but let's see if it works anyway. So we're going to go back to the silver, just the bright silver we have. And we are going to try to get a little bit more of it rubbed off. It's got a little bit of purple in there, you can see, but that's fine. And I'm going to just be a little, per, how would you say, intentional swipes. So let's maybe let's just start diagonal. Okay, not that interesting, <laughs> but cool enough. So let's add a little more silver to that. We'll go back to kind of the overbrush style instead of worrying about wiping it off. So I want to get it back to silver here. Make sure we hit all the numbers. Let's really make sure we get the blood bowl icon there. Cool. So there we go, now it's this kind of silver with this metallic kind of silver rim. It's still black underneath, I'll just touch that up with probably that pig iron. And at this point we can wash our dry brush. So I'm just rinsing it off the camera here in a pot of water. That happens to also have like airbrush cleaner and stuff in it from where I dump my airbrush. And there we go, we're just gonna give it a scrub on the rag, rinse it again, give it a scrub, and we could go one more time. Just a quick rinse, quick scrub. Some of this discoloration is also going to be because my water cup is dirty. But there you go. So that should be fairly clean and should return once dry to its very soft state. Now, Let's just see if we can add a little bit more oomph, I guess, to the numbers. I'm going to try this uh, Eidolon Purple Clear from Games Workshop. We're going to get whatever old beat up brush we got. In my case here, I got this size six. That's taken quite a beating over many, many painting projects. And let's load up the brush. And just color in our numbers. Doing the purple here, it probably would have looked really nice if I went with like uh, golds. Purple and gold usually looks really kind of fancy and regal. It's a nice combination. Plus purple and yellow are 
complementary colors. But all we're doing here is just going to fill in these colors. I'm going to actually sell this set of templates on eBay, hopefully. Well, I'm going to try. I mean, of course, it doesn't mean they're going to sell. But once I have the whole set done, I am going to put them up for sale. And this is kind of my practice set for my new Blood Bowl 2020 edition which I just picked up over the weekend on Black Friday. So that'll give, this has given me some ideas, what I like, what I don't like, a little bit of practice, but it's just a quick, fun way to paint your templates. This is something like if you had, uh, well, I was going to say 40K templates, they don't have them anymore, but uh, if you play an old edition of 40K or perhaps if you play Necromunda, you could paint your templates, give them a cool look, cool and unique. So there we go, just something cool there. And let's go one more. I'm trying to think, how about Hmm. I'm thinking of one more color here, and I think it's going to be, let's go Griffhound Orange. So Griffhound Orange contrast color. Let's see if we can't, nope. I changed my mind. I was going to do these inside areas, <laughs> but then I have to actually do these areas too, because that's all the inside around the numbers, and I don't want to do that. So I think we're happy without the orange. <laughs> well, let's take this, go back to our Game Air Silver. Just put a little bit. I'm just going to switch to the size 1 ghost brush here, dry brush, because the size 2 we used first and it's still wet. So that'll really be streaky if it's still wet. Now these colors are obviously still wet, so we'll see what happens. But we'll see if I can't clean up the numbers a little bit. With my silver. And let's just see. Okay, now that's really streaky. Alright. There we go. I think now I noticed a little decorative spot here. So let's take the first maybe brass color we can find or gold. Let's see what I can grab behind me here. How about this? Molten bronze from P3. Oh, that's on. That's seen better days. Not sure anything's worth using in there let's find out sticking your brush all the way to the bottom of a pot like that is a great way to ruin it forever but this brush has also seen better days so it's fine <laughs> I'll take a little bit of water I'll just try to keep this fast and try to rinse our brush off ASAP And we're just going to paint this little rim. Right here, just for another pop color. 
there's probably maybe we'll get the bottom too. Well, my steady hand has seen better days on this. I'm making a few kind of sloppy mistakes. But this is just showing you if you got the new Blood Bowl, or the old one, prime your templates black, grab up some of your metallics, and you could get something pretty decent going pretty quick. I mean, this took almost no time at all. And although these may not be the best templates you've ever seen in your entire life, they're more interesting than gray plastic. At least hopefully they are. And if you show up to play a game of Blood Bowl and you got painted templates and your buddy doesn't, then of course he's going to want to use your templates, right? It just makes the game more fun. When things are painted, things look better. It's more immersive. Just the overall experience is better. So there we go. Nice little symbol. Uh, maybe even an interesting thing you could do is I could hit the uh, the numbers with this kind of brass color. Let's try it. Why not? Make sure you hit the thumbs up button before you click away. <laughs> but quickly, I'll just show you on the number five here. I mean, there's way too much paint on this brush. I'm ruining it by doing this, but I'm just showing you. Uh, I'm just going to try to basically lightly, I'm not trying to trace over here, I'm just trying to dab it on top, kind of cheat and hit all the raised areas without having to actually trace the area. Just with a light touch. These will be some cool bases, or some cool templates for the new Imperial Nobility team, which is a team I will be painting up. Excited. I was thinking about maybe doing them yellow. Maybe yellow like my uh, Unmade Warband. For Warcry. I think they'll look pretty good in yellow. Not super, super bright yellow, but like, I don't know, yellow cultist robe yellow, whatever that means. And then use the bright yellows to highlight. There we go. Quick, rough, dirty. It's kind of got the Phoenix Suns vibe here. Not, I, not really intentional, but... <laughs> and actually, it might be a little too Phoenix Suns for me. Maybe if you're not from Phoenix, you don't recognize the purple and gold. But... Oh, well. All right. Just for funsies. One more time with this bright silver. We're going to the size one here. Let's see if we can't just highlight the little symbol here in the middle without getting too much on other spots. Cool. So there you go. There's a quick Blood Bowl template video. If anything, this video shows you how to just quickly play and shift your painting. 
experimenting with colors. It's very easy. You don't have to worry. You can always paint over anywhere you overspill, especially on something like this. Fun to dry brush with. Maybe I'll do another video where I actually plan it out and make it look great <laughs> instead of whatever I just created. But it's not too bad. Definitely better than bare plastic. So hopefully you enjoy this. And what I'll probably do actually is hit this with like an Agrax gloss. Once it's dry, hit the whole thing with either Agrax gloss or Nuln Oil gloss or something like that to really deepen all the shadows. And then I'll judge if I like how it turned out or not. And then that'll probably be the picture you see in the thumbnail. Well, you'll see this first. And then when I prove it, you'll see the new picture. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Just a quick one for you. Please subscribe, comment, hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me. There it is. The Blood Bowl bounce counter template, quickly painted. Obviously, it's not totally dry, so I don't want to put the wash over it yet. But it'll look pretty cool. And it only took about nine seconds. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Have a good one.